live alone in my apartment in Helsinki. I enjoy living alone so much that I can't imagine sharing with anyone. Well, I can't imagine it anymore. But hey, that wouldn't be the first time I've been proven wrong. But for now, let's just say that I love my own space. Perhaps a little too much sometimes. I'm proud of where I live, but that wasn't always the case. Thinking about this has forced me to remember a very painful moment in my life. I found this apartment when I was in a very difficult situation. I don't want to get into it, but let's just say that I stumbled on this place. I had just come out of a relationship and I needed to find a new place real quick. I was emotionally and mentally drained, so I just took what I could get, which just so happened to be here. I remember my first night I slept on the floor. I didn't have any furniture, a bed, couch, nothing. All I had was my bag with clothes, which I used as a pillow. <laughs> Isn't it amazing that we can look back at difficult situations and laugh about it? What people don't tell you about moving to a new country is how many little things you simply don't know how to do. My first night here, there was no power, no lights. I didn't even know the process of getting lights on. I bought a few candles from the store and some plastic cutlery. I felt like my life had come to an end. Laying there on the ground, lost in my own despair and fear. Yes, it's pretty rich of me saying that while living in a country like Finland in my own apartment, but hey, emotions are emotions. And my emotions had me spiraling. I was lost and alone in a strange country. The feeling of home was further to me than the stars in the sky. I was laying on the ground in a fetal position, not wanting to move, I felt lonelier than I could ever remember feeling. Now, I'm not telling you this story to make you feel sorry for me. I'm telling you this story because I want to take a moment to celebrate how differently I feel today. I think it's an amazing thing. I also want to remind you that we humans are incredible and we find ways to adapt and move on if we allow ourselves to. I decided to step out of the house for a little bit. <laughs> It's colder than I thought it would be. Uh, it's a public holiday in Helsinki today. Um, it feels incredibly peaceful. You know, there's a calmness in the air and I'm enjoying every second of it. Uh, this city is just so special to me. I've been to Oslo, Copenhagen, Stockholm, but there is something really unique about Helsinki.
Can you do me a favor? If you are enjoying this video, can you like and subscribe to the channel? It really helps. It helps with the algorithm and it also shows me where your interests lie. If you really enjoy these sort of videos and you want to see more, liking and subscribing is the best way that you can do that or hitting me up in the comments. I really appreciate it. Let's get back to the video. You see, I was sitting here thinking about what exciting adventure I could go on and film, but I just randomly started thinking about how happy I am with where I live. I'm not just talking about the city or country right now. I started thinking about my apartment and what makes a place truly feel like home. It's actually pretty ridiculous because I, a lot of the time, would much prefer to stay at home than to go out to a bar or something. Like, why? If I wanted to go and get a drink, I could simply go to the grocery store right next door and get a drink from there. I won't go so far as to say that I'm a recluse, but I don't go out of my way to leave the house if I don't need to. I don't know what that's about. Is it age? Am I just really happy with where I am? I don't know. If I did want to go for a walk or something, there's really nice parks and views in the vicinity. I guess what I'm trying to get at is the fact that life is mundane at times. It might feel like the same old, same old, I get it. But every now and then, we need to remember how beautiful normal is. so easily take the most amazing things for granted at times, a lot of the time. The fact that I can walk around my apartment and be lazy is brilliant. I don't know about you, but I sometimes feel like I'm not living a life as exciting as I see other people living online. But I have to constantly remind myself that what I see on places like Instagram are the best moments of someone's life. At times, not even that. Trying to compare my life with that is just silly. The best thing we can do for this world is learn how to be grateful for the little blessings that find their way to us. And for me, today, my blessing is the fact that I get to live in an amazing country, in an amazing city, and in an amazing apartment.